welcome to Claritas Spotlight, the fast, easy, and cost-effective way to get reliable market information. This video outlines the three steps required to create demographic reports. Once logged in, use the reporting from the top navigation bar. The interface has been designed with a simple three-step process. Step one, select reports. Step two, select areas and step three, view results. Before you begin, be sure to check the data vintage selected. This will be shown at the top left of the report screen. You can select the data vintage by clicking on it. You can also select the data vintage at the top right of the screen using the drop-down list. In step one, select reports. A list of standard reports is provided based on your license. Below the list of licensed reports, you will see a list of reports available for the pay-as-you-go option. You can buy a single report as a one-time purchase with credit card. To select reports, use the check mark beside the report name. All pages in the report can be selected, or components of the report can be selected individually. Pages can also be reordered within the report section. You can also select report pages as favorites for future Spotlight sessions. Your report screen can then be filtered by your favorites. The order of the reports can also be changed by clicking and dragging the report name. The changes you've made can be saved by clicking the Save Report Order button. After selecting the reports, click Select Areas for the next page in Step 2. Select Areas is Step 2. The options are to create new areas or to select existing areas. Let's create new areas. The options for trade area creation are listed here. Use Draw to draw custom polygons on the map. Use Distance to create circular or drive distance areas using an address or a point on the map as a point of reference. Use Time to create drive time areas. Use Geography to create areas of standard geographies. Use Import to import a file with a list of addresses or coordinates, or a list of geographic codes or spatial polygons for batch importing. For this example, we will use the Time option. The starting point will be a location or a point on the map. If you don't have an address, you can always use the Map Click feature to position a point on the map. For example, we have an address in mind to analyze. Enter the address, including the city and state, and then click Geocode to see the point on the map. The Drive Time option provides four area types, Walking, Drive Time Heavy Traffic, Drive Time Night, and Drive Time. For this example, we will use Drive Time Heavy Traffic and will input the size of the Drive Time polygons in minutes. Let's use 3, 5, and 10 minute drive times. Click Create to see the Drive Time polygons on the map. By default, the address will populate in the Area Name field. You have the option to change it if you wish. Click Save to proceed to the next step. You will receive notifications that your trade area has been saved. After creating the areas, they will automatically be selected for My Report Generation. Scrolling down to the benchmark, you will see that the USA is the default benchmark and is automatically selected. Please note, a benchmark is a point of reference and a way to compare trade areas to a larger geographic area. The benchmark is the denominator in reports and drives the penetration and index values. The final step is to click View Results and then the Finished Results button. Now, at the results screen, once the report name is in bold, click on the name of the report to view the dashboard. At the dashboard, use the push pin to extend the navigation bar. You can navigate the dashboard by selecting each page individually under the Select an Area dropdown. To see the other two areas, use the Select an Area dropdown. To download the dashboard, 
select Download Data. There are a number of formats that can be downloaded. Use the batch reports to create a separate report for each area selected. The batch reports can be downloaded in PDF as well as Excel formats. Use the side-by-side -side option to output a single formatted report with each data slice listed side-by-side. -side. Use the long file output to receive an unformatted table with each data slice stacked one below the other. The download options available are dependent on the report selected. Not all download options are available for every report output. Let's take a look at the PDF options using batch reports. When selecting PDF, I can use the drop down arrow beside the Create button to select certain PDF options. I selected multiple areas. I would like all of the areas merged into one PDF document. I would also like to see a title page and a table of contents. Click OK, then click Create to create the PDF. The PDF is being created. You will receive a notification when the download is ready. Going back to the results page, I now see a PDF icon. Once the icon is colored, it is ready to be downloaded. Click the PDF icon to download the document. The PDF document includes a title page, a table of contents page, and a report page for each area selected in my report. A report details page also provides a summary of the report contents. This completes our Spotlight three step tutorial. For more information, visit our website, www.claritas.com backslash spotlight backslash.